Hey tubers, I'm going to start this video the same way I started the first video in this greenhouse in front of this table. It's a little different though, I had onions and some things to go out in the, the garden with this is. I'm actually harvesting out of the garden and uh, it's been a, it's been an interesting year to say the least. I've uh, been uh, very successful in some regards and in some we've had some setbacks but uh, I've learned a lot and God has taught me several things and he always does when I'm planting the dirt um, or in the hydroponics. Uh, you'll see behind me I've done some things in here and I'll show you how I got to that uh, shortly but um, I am learning that uh, he has a plan and it's uh, complete. Um, we don't have to help him um, do anything, really. Uh, he's got it all under control. And when I think things are, are b bad and, and I'm ready to give up, uh, he's not. And you'll see uh, in this video later on what I'm talking about. I did get to harvest some things and I'm getting ready to plant some new things. So. Um, Gardening goes on here in the greenhouse, and um, shortly I'll be starting seeds to go out in the garden. Uh, but anyway, I did want to wish you all a very happy new year, and I, pl I pray that God blesses you um, in your endeavors, whether it be gardening or whatever it is. Uh, I just bless, uh, pray that God blesses your family and uh, each one of you. And uh, thank you for your support this year. And uh, hopefully you'll hang with me next year. And, and uh, as I am with you, um, uh, we'll watch each other's gardens grow. Well, God bless. And as I always say, go play in the dirt. But this video is not over. You'll see how and what I've been up to here uh, and how I got to this. Take care. There's signs of life. I'm gonna trim these up, see what I can do. Start over with some. But there's signs of life. There's some of this is starting to come back after the smoke damage. Here's the other side as well. I'm gonna trim them up and see what we can and can't save. This is pretty impressive here. That's that beautiful lettuce trying to make a comeback. Okay. I was just gonna say is I'm not so fast to give up on all this stuff. Um, I'm trimming up the tomato plants. And I've, I've found something that's it's actually pretty cool. I've been training these tomato plants and getting rid of all the suckers um, <clears throat> and then when the smoke damaged the uh, the plant what happened is actually pretty really pretty cool um, it seems like I've been cutting back all these this dead and getting rid of it but everywhere there's dead another sucker has come out see the life, it's trying to live. Even though uh, the smoke damage is real, uh, it's trying to live. It's putting out new plants all over it. Um, so what I'm getting is this. There's still a lot of life in here. And uh, I'm going to let it, let it go, see what happens. All right, well, it's quite a bit different. But, that shows promise to me. Thank you, Lord. This is what it looked like before I started. And this one's next. And I wanted to show you some before I completely finish trimming um, the damage off of these tomato plants. 
when something that I think is just incredible and our our creator um, God has just you know amazes me all the time uh, when I'm out in the greenhouse or the garden and how he uh, his plan is is complete and he doesn't miss a, a beat with his creation so um, what I wanted to show you is <clears throat> these plants where the damage is it, it starts to die off from here and if the damage is too extensive the plant itself will shut off all of its um, nutrients and all of its energy to the branch and what happens is you'll see that one it hasn't quite shut off yet it's still green and there's some some life in this uh, this limb and this one is the same way but as you get over here you'll see this one's starting to turn yellow and then if you look at some of these things it's shut off the energy all the way back to the main stem where the branch comes off and eventually it looks like this it gets more and more yellow and then eventually it's like this it prunes itself and this comes off really easy uh, it'll eventually fall off but I think that's just an amazing thing that I wrote these plants off shouldn't have and some of you called me on it and I appreciate that um, I thought that the damage was way too extensive but um, God had other plants. You remember what that looked like? That's the same lettuce. I pulled the dead off. The life was still there. It's still coming up. Um, cab my cauliflower, uh, the, the green is coming up back around the actual heads. So, I mean, time will tell, but I'm going to give it a shot. Squash and beets. All trying to give it a go. That lettuce is done. I'm just waiting for seed. My trees, uh, they did pretty well actually. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with those. Uh, the um, Moringa also over there, it, it survived as well. Peppers. I'll trim those back. Those look like those are going to be fine. There's a few tomato plants uh, in the grow bags that survived. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the Swiss chard. And uh, I think I may just, I don't know, I may eat it. I don't know. We'll try it. Uh, the cauliflower, I'll show you what that looks like up here. Really. The cauliflower is, it's all coming back. It's trying to put green back around the cauliflower heads. So I may just harvest it. It's, a, it's about done anyway. And uh, I may leave some, harvest some. Don't know. The cabbage. It wasn't as affected quite as bad. Um, some of the outer leaves are affected, but may just trim that off or pull them away and let them go and eat. Uh, that one's ready. Eat it. Carrots. They're survive. They're surviving. In fact, not bad. We'll see how that goes. I may just start over with this one. It was about done anyway. I had some side shoots for the broccoli and it looks like it's about to go to seed. Um, I had harvested most of the collards. I may go ahead and get the rest of those leaves and start over in this box. And um, these tomato plants and peppers over here are gonna be fine, I think. 
Uh, I'll trim them back. I may uh, put those in some bigger grow bags and see if we can't make a go of these. All right, well, I've decided to harvest the cauliflower. Uh, I've already pulled up everything that was in this bed. And I'm working on this one. And the reason I'm harvesting it is because it started for whatever reason this one was one of my largest heads and it's the bunches whatever you want to call it it started to rot so I wanted to get them before they rotted so I've cut them all back and I'm getting ready to pull all those up and throw them in my compost over here but that's a pretty good bunch of cauliflower I mean some of those are as big as my hand We're gonna eat good tonight. My mom is down from Illinois, and I'm fixing to treat her to a good old cauliflower, well, and carrot meal. I think we're gonna have some carrots too because I've got some more of those down here. Could fix up some cabbage as well, but my carrots look like they're about ready. Uh, I planted the short, stumpy, carrots my wife doesn't care for those but I'm gonna have to make some deeper beds if I want to go with the longer carrots and my broccoli and collards I've trimmed them back cleaned up the bed and we'll see how that goes these things are gonna end up being trees and there's what was in there cleaning it up I don't know if you can see down here, but in that wheelbarrow, that is all of what used to be up here. And we'll see how that goes as well. God bless. Go plant some nutrient solutions, some dirt, whatever you can get your hands into to play with uh, what God has uh, given us to take care of. We'll see you next time.